YouTube, this your boy Download back with another, I guess, album review. And this one is to DJ Drama, Quality Street Music, and I guess you can qualify it as an album because it's dropping in stores. Now it hasn't dropped yet, it's going to drop on October 2nd, but right now on Spin.com, the link is in the description, they are streaming the full album, so you definitely should check that out probably as you're watching this video. And you know, not long ago, DJ Drama dropped, what, third power and shit, man. You gotta understand how easy it is for these DJs to put this shit out. They could really drop projects like this, man, every three months if they really wanted to. Because all it takes is the money to get these people together and sit them down for one track at a time, and you can bust that shit out really quickly. And that shit is fucking dangerous, but as I look through this album, there's some pretty good tracks upon it. That Never Die with Jadakiss, CeeLo, Nipsey Hussle, and Young Jeezy, that was pretty hot. That So Many with Wale, Tiger, and Roscoe Dash, that was pretty damn hot. That Clouds with Rick Ross, Currency, and Pusha T, that was probably the best track on here. But I also did fuck with that My Way with Common and Kendrick Lamar. Overall, there are some damn good tracks on here, and that's basically all it is, is a bunch of individual tracks put together under one album. And which for me, when that type of shit happens, I always just pick and choose what songs I want and throw away the rest. So when this project does drop, it is definitely worth some downloads off of iTunes. So go ahead, check that one on out, man. But anyway, on to today's article. And today's article is about riding the wave. And this is what people will do to you when you become famous. See, there's a whole bunch of other people in the rap game that had the time to shine. And these people will try to do anything to get back to that point, including find the new guy who's getting the chance to shine and try to shine with them. See, a lot of rappers, they allow this to happen because they want the cosign of these rappers that they have looked up to for quite some time. But the hardcore truth about businessmen, they should fucking pay you to ride your fucking wave because you earned your point in the game. You did not need the fucking help. You do not need anyone's cosign once you get there. Real talk, when you get there, man, you should have that attitude of, I did this, it was me against the world, I made it happen, and you guys want to come and shine off me now, y'all gonna have to pay me. When people get so desperate to pull the Snoop Dogg, which is riding other people's waves, they're really not putting out any good music anymore. They're basically focusing on who they can feature with to get their fame. And including them on your shit can reduce the quality of your songs, in which you cannot have happen. So honestly, I believe you should never let anybody ride your fucking wave that isn't putting in the work or isn't paying you for that action. 